Hello everybody, um, this is my intro video for uh, diagnosis and treatment. Um, this is my, let me think, uh, fourth, I guess technically fourth semester in uh, Antioch, so I've been here a year and um, oh, what courses have you taken in high school? Um, so I've taken abnormal psychology uh, that was in undergrad, and I've also taken um, uh, psychopathology. We studied the DSM-4, I think it was, which this is back in 2011, so the 5 hadn't quite come out yet in 2013. Um, so probably some of what I learned is outdated, although I'll be honest, I don't remember much. I remember enjoying the class immensely, so I have high hopes for this one. Um, um let's see so i i'm currently working in a psych hospital and part of that i also had to um, do like countless i learns you know online kind of learning modules which um, was actually extremely informative and helpful i you know actually ended up screenshotting a lot of it and saving it because i thought it would be helpful down the line just as we learn more and you know maybe i'll tap into some of that here um so, it, you know, some of this is a little bit more fresh um, than, you know, 10, 10 12, 13 years ago um, when, when I first learned it in undergrad, as I'm sure many of you did too. Okay, what professional experience have you had? Okay, so like I mentioned, I, I do work in a psych hospital um, in Queens. Um, uh, so day in, day out, you know. 40, 50, 60 hours a week, I'm working with very, you know, I'm very, I'm working with uh, people with all sorts of psychiatric disorders in very close proximity. And um, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, six, there's 10 total units. Um, uh, some units are designated to teens, there's a couple that is designated to geriatric. Um, an all women's unit unit for you know things like postpartum or sexual trauma where they don't want you know men around, and then uh, oh there's a college unit as well, and then the rest I think are adult units. Um, they also have an ECT uh, center, electroconvulsive therapy center there, um, which has also been extremely interesting to see and learn about, and you know shocking to see, uh, no pun intended. Uh, to see how um, effective it can be and, and like how you can clearly see people getting better after months of failed treatment in, in the hospital. Uh, each case is different, of course. Um, let's see, what's one psychiatric disorder you believe you have some level of familiarity with? So quite quite a few, I'd say, because I'm, I'm you know, literally working with them every other day. Uh, we see a ton of depression and anxiety, as I'm sure a lot of you can imagine. If they make it, do make it to the psych hospital, it's usually because their symptoms, their depression has um, exacerbated to the point where they're suicidal. So I've seen, you know, every day see people come in with bandages around their wrists, around their arms. Um, it's very common. Um, you know, people have jumped out of windows and are wearing neck braces, and I don't know, the stories you really hear are incredible. Um, very sad, very interesting, um, and it's very rewarding to see them get better as well. Uh, so a lot of depression, anxiety, uh, SI. Um, bipolar is one I, I can spot pretty well. Uh, usually people come in very hot. They're talking a mile a minute. They can't stop to hear what you're saying um, and uh, that will happen for a few days usually the meds will kick in and they'll crash and sleep for like a week straight um, it's not uncommon for people with bad bipolar to you know be up for like a week straight without sleeping maybe sleep an hour a night if that so when they crash they crash hard
so that one is pretty easy to spot spot um also schizophrenia um delusions sort of this you know erratic behavior very random you know sometimes they'll say something to you and you're not sure what they said or why they're even talking to you sometimes or if they're talking to you um sort of like word salad it's never really um a clear cogent sentence so um that one's also very very easy to spot a lot of um paranoia paranoid schizophrenics as well um paranoia is is one of the easier ones to spot as well so i think those are probably the main three um like si depression si uh, bipolar and schizophrenia are the ones I'm, I'm the most familiar with um Oh, that's all the questions. All right. Um, I look forward to uh, learning with you all and, and um, you know, kicking off the semester. Take care.